so basically we're gonna make pizza dough and then we're gonna convert that dough into actual pizza. Mm -hmm. And we got our <laughs> toppings and all that stuff here. Yeah. Right there. Uh, you're gonna need some salt. So to make the ask. dough itself, what we're gonna start off with is some warm water. So mm -hmm. right now I have the Keurig on. I'm gonna get like two cups of water and then I'm and gonna juice. put a couple ice cubes juice. to make it warm. Juice. And then we're gonna put some sugar, some yeast. But I'll show y'all how to do that real quick. So then we'll get some water. Be right back. We got basically two cups warm water. Okay, we're gonna pour this into the big mixing bowl. All right, bam. What's next, Tate? Cane sugar. We're gonna do a, a teaspoon of cane sugar. You can use whatever sugar you want. I'm just using cane sugar because that's what I got. A uh, teaspoon is actually over here. Bam. Thank you. Boom, put it in, bam. Forget about it. Next, we're using a two teaspoon of salt. So I'm using, I'm using pink salt. You can use whatever salt. Using pink salt is a little bit more salty, so I'm using a little bit less than two teaspoons. But two teaspoons is the main for regular salt, you know, like table salt. This pink salt is a little bit saltier. If that makes sense. Uh, we're also gonna add the yeast so i'm gonna wait a little bit to let it make sure it's not too hot uh because you don't want to kill the yeast off right away but um basically we're gonna add about a teaspoon and a quarter of yeast and i'm using rapid rise yeast hey mama you want to do it you want to do it i'm gonna do it yeah i'll let it, we'll do one too we're gonna take one teaspoon all right look Make sure it's level, hold it straight, and get it into the boom, pour it in. Nice. One. Willow, you want to do one? Yeah. Here. Watch this. Here, Willow. You're going to put it in the bowl? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we got a teaspoon and a quarter of yeast, okay? That's all we're gonna put, put in the bowl for right now. Now we're gonna mix it up. Let me, shall I use that to mix it? Just mix it up a little bit, nothing crazy. Stir it up, mix the sugar. The sugar basically helps activate the yeast. And um, we're gonna let it sit for about two minutes. And we're looking for uh, like some bubbling, to like bubbling, I guess I'll call it bubbling. I'll show you what it looks like. If it forms, that means the yeast is good to go and it's uh, active. <clears throat> yeah, it's bubbling. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the bubbling because I'm getting it. <laughs> looking pretty cool. Let's see if we could actually see it. Bring this over here. And, uh, so now, since I know it's going to work. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add the oil. We're gonna add two tablespoons olive oil. So me and Willow can do it? Yeah, well, we're gonna put it in the mixer so we don't really have to do much. Now, if you don't have a, uh, you know, one of those stand mixers, you could do this with a, uh, what do you gotta use? By hand? You know, a spatula? But since, we do have a stand mixer. I'll be doing that instead of manual labor. <laughs> yeah, boom. All right, two tablespoons. Done. Okay, oh, yeah, it's not focused because I refocus. I have to refocus it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so that's that. So we're going to slowly mix this. Then we're going to add the flour. We're going to add four cups of flour. Yeah, that's not bad. So one cup. Boom. Oh, yep, perfect. Hit it. hit it against that, and you're done. Okay. So we'll go to, uh, we'll put this on the mixer now. The camera. And right, so we start on low, let it mix up, and you kind of just poke the sides, get all the flour in there. We start speeding it up between two and four. So cool. 
I should have had a, I should have had a camera over here. <laughs> It, right, just let it go. How long do we let it go for? About a minute. A minute? Yeah. All right, so you let it mix for about a minute. Put some flour on the surface. Ooh, no, like what? A quarter cup. Quarter cup. In that cup. That measuring cup. Ah. Cool. Use it all or just uh -huh. use it all? Um, sure, just use it all. All right. We'll use it all. We use about a quarter cup of flour just to surface the flour. Put flour on the surface, and I got flour all over the mouse. Got it, girl. Let me do it. Yeah, that is a, a, a real pie. Got it, I got it. There you go. Got it all. Here it is. Boom. All right, so this, um, this recipe makes two uh, doughs. It makes basically two pizza doughs. All right, so you want to do that, Tate? <laughs> so that's it. You just make it into a little ball like this. How do we see this? Boom. And then we're going to cut it in half. All right. Uh, cut it in half. No, don't shave one. Because I want to keep the other one. Okay. Okay. We're gonna save one. What are we gonna do with it? Uh, I'll put it. We're gonna put it in the ball again. Okay, so we make one little ball to save, and we're gonna make one little ball to use. I want powdered sugar. Okay. Bam. We're gonna use this one because this is big. <laughs> we want a big pizza. All right, so now we have our little ball of dough, okay? We're going to take a bowl, just like a, you know, like a mixing, mixing bowl. We're going to oil it, all right? So we're going to take some oil and a little brush, oil your mixing bowl, all right? So it's nice and oily. Take your ball of dough, plop it in there, brush your dough with oil. And then we're going to let it rise. The rising process takes about an hour and a half. But because I'm very smart, we made dough earlier, and that's already done. So we're <laughs> I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second after it rises. Uh, but we're going to cover this with a towel and a, take a plate, cover it up, Daddy. and put it like in a warm area. We have like a – put it by Daddy. the oven if it's on. Yeah. You're not having fun? Why not? Huh? And then get to do it. You're gonna do this. We're not done yet. This is the one that you get to roll. Are you ready? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Flower this too. Dad. All right. This one we get to put away. I'll put it right here for now. Don't need that. We're gonna need a big area. So let's make a big surface area. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take our. Oh, I forgot to show you what it looks like. Oh, yeah. dang. Well, it rises in the bowl. I already crushed it. <laughs> Choke. I'll show you what that one looks like. By the time we're done, that one will be ri ri uh, rised already, right? Dang, wash my hands. I choke. Basically, when the dough rises, the, it'll Dang, fill up this bowl. Hands. It'll fill up the bowl with. Uh, it'll look. Hands. It'll look puffy like a mush yeah. marshmallow. Leave it like a ball. Okay, so put, put it back in the ball. ball. Uh, yeah. Back into a ball. Okay. The flour on top it of it. So annoying. Got it. Um, Putting flour on top of it. Sprinkle um, some flour. They can see you. Okay. Yeah. They only can see your shirt, not your hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put the front cam. Boom. Check this out. All right. Now we're going to take a rolling pin. You ready? And we're going to roll it out, huh? You want a piece of dough? Yeah. She's going to get you some more. 
and then you roll it out into a 16 inch circle. So just like a pizza pie, right? We got a little circular pizza pan, right? You're going to put oil on here, oil the surface, and then once you're done rolling it out, you, you put it on here, All done. and then you kind of knead it on the pan. All right. So here's where we got. Look at this thing. It's nice, Tate. You did a great job rolling it out. I know, it's okay. That was a backup door. Powder. Boom. Pizza pie. Oh, it refolds it over, so you just put it back in. All right, looks good. Yep. So I made, I folded the, um, like the, I folded the outer edges a little bit to make it like a crust. So like I make it a little bit thicker on the outer edge, so it forms like a nice little crust. You know, like a. They can't see your face. This is what I do. I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I like to do it because it gives it a better crust. Now you can see my face. You see, know, now it's I'm all coming doing, back. I'm go. I'm on my knees right now. I don't know if you can really tell, but you can see how like the, the, the there's like a raised edge. Yeah, you can see it from there. Yep. All right. So now, what's next? Pizza sauce. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Now, one day I'll show you how to do homemade pizza sauce, but we bought. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what we're using. Some store-bought pizza sauce. I, uh, yeah. That's basically what I we're want using. Put it. I want to put it. You want to put it? Yeah, go ahead. Mama. You both can do it. You both can do it. Sure. You want to stay away from the edge. It's okay. There you. It's okay. You're good. Stay away from the edge. And we make a nice little pizza pie. You're good. I want, I want to do the, um, toppings. Oh, we have peppers too. All right, so we're putting spinach, diced tomatoes, green, uh, no, I think we're using red pepper because that's all I had, um, chopped onions and, uh, fresh garlic, as well as, uh, we're using, the cheese we're using is a, it's, it's called Miyoko's, it's a mozzarella, it's, it's non-dairy, I think it's made out of cashews, yeah, cause, uh, with vegan cheese, um, it doesn't melt like a traditional <laughs> cow cheese, um, but uh, so then this is why we put this one first. Come here, mom. Spinach, I like to put it last because I just like to see it on top. <laughs> just the way <laughs> it basically covers everything else, um, and look, look, gives it like a nice green look. All right, boom. All right. Boom, there's our cheese pizza. All right. We're going to do diced tomato and fresh garlic. You want to do tomatoes, peppers? Grab stuff. Just put it on there. Like this. Just do, don't do the spinach yet. We're putting tomatoes, peppers, red peppers. You want to do some, Liam? Do these? Here, peppers. <laughs> it feels off. Oh. I think the tomatoes will make it a little soggy, right? Pepper, 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 diced tomatoes and peppers. And pizza. Dang. All right, then we take some goop, some onions. Throw that on there. Do something like that. Tay, you want to do some? No, you don't want to touch the onions. Okay. Then you do the fresh garlic. You can pretty much put whatever you want on this or in your pizza. I am going to try a slice. I, I'm going to try this um, the, uh, this vegan pepperoni. But I'm going to try it out, see how it is. I'll let you guys know how it tastes. First time tasting it, so we'll see. All right, just try to spread it around nice and neatly. Beautiful, beautiful.
I'm out. Yeah, I'm gonna do one slice. You wanna try one? Or no? Yeah. So I'll do two. <laughs> the spinach, the spinach, this the spinach. This looks yummy. It sure does. Do you wanna do these? Well, a little bit of mushroom. You want mushrooms? Pepperoni! Sure. Pepperoni! Pepperoni. Pepperoni? You wanna do pepperoni? Yeah, pepperoni. Do just a couple together. Like put them together. Cause yeah. Pepperoni. Yeah, make it like, like a line. That like pepperoni. That. Yep. Do two slices. So we don't want her. We don't know if Mom, it's gonna be good. Daddy, can I eat the pepperoni? You wanna try it cooked. when it's cooked? Yeah. Is it vegan? Yeah. Mom, What's the brand of this? Mommy, you said there's no vegan pepperoni. Today. All right, so this one is who? Yives. Veggie pepperoni, plant based. We'll try it. We'll let you know how it goes. It's trash. I'm gonna write a review. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do a YouTube video reviewing Yves pepperoni. Try it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Pepperoni. We're also gonna add some mushrooms. These are already like sautéed mushrooms. You want like a lot on yours? Mushrooms. I don't know if I want mushrooms. Yeah, I'll do. I'll put some in there. Say you're gonna. What's it? Pepperoni, I'm not, I'm not mushrooms. I can't eat it yet. It's cold. Okay. Mm. I might want to try one though, so I'll just put it on my pepperoni slice. <laughs> I, I just put a lot on one slice. Just use them all. Okay, got it. Using it all. Got it. Half a pie, Ooh, mushroom. Half a pie, half a pie, half a pie half no mushrooms. Mushroom. Boom. Mushroom. Now, you, eat that. you guys ready for the reveal? Oh, I don't want to eat that cold, crazy. <laughs> you ready for the reveal? Let's see. Go to main camp. And that's what it's going to be like. Let me see. Can I get a better angle? Focus it. Beautiful. And that's our pie. Onions, tomatoes, spinach, fresh garlic, vegan roni, mushrooms, and red peppers. Now we're going to put it in the oven. The oven is at 490. We're going to put it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I think 12 was the sweet spot, but we're going to try 10 to 15 for now. And see where we're Boom! There it is. Look at that pizza cooking. That's mm. so yummy. Good idea. I love, oh, that was actually good. Oof, this is hot. Hot. Hot tamale. All right. Oh, shoot. I hate ovens. It's, you want to know why I hate ovens? Because my dad, one day, he took something out of the oven, turned around and burned my arm. I have a giant scar in the back of my arm. And that's why I hate ovens. <laughs> that is our pizza. What do you think? Looks delicious. Oh, man. That is so yummy. Here it is. Got a little crunch, little crunch. There it is. Daddy, Daddy, we made it. There it is. Pizza. Veganized. Hundred dollars a slice. I'm satisfied. You satisfied? Want to say goodbye? See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thanks Bye -bye. for watching. Thank you.